You are going to have so much fun making my healthier peanut butter cup spiders. My classic peanut butter cookies are gluten-free with almond flour and naturally sweetened with maple syrup and coconut sugar. And my healthier peanut butter cups are super easy to make with only five ingredients. To make these spiders, you'll need a batch of my peanut butter cookies and my peanut butter cups. And I've included a link in the video description below to the videos and recipes showing you how to make these. To assemble our spiders, we need to melt down our chocolate. And I'm just pouring about a third a cup of chocolate chips into a microwave safe bowl. And you can use any chocolate chips you like depending on your dietary preference. Then we'll add a half teaspoon of coconut oil to help them melt down smoother. Then I'm going to heat this in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, give it a quick stir, and then put it back into the microwave for an additional 30 seconds. So after the first 30 seconds, I'm taking my bowl out of the microwave and then just giving it a quick stir, even though those chocolate chips are not completely melted yet. And now I'll put it back in the microwave for an additional 30 seconds. Now I'm just gonna stir it till it's nice and smooth and we don't have any clumps. A really simple hack for piping the chocolate onto our cookies as the spider legs is to just use a snack bag. So I'm just gonna take my bag and open it up and poke the corner down inside of a jar. And then I'll pour my melted chocolate right inside the bag. Then I'll carefully press out the excess air, seal the bag, and then taking the corner and a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna cut off a real small little triangle that is about the width of what I want the legs to be. And then I have a cookie sheet lined with a piece of parchment paper to be able to put the spiders on as we assemble them. Now that we have our peanut butter cookies, our peanut butter cups, our googly eyes, as well as our melted chocolate, we are ready to assemble our spiders. So I'm just gonna start with a cookie and then I'm gonna pipe the legs starting from the inside to the outside. And in the interest of being anatomically correct, we will give the spider eight legs. So I'm just gonna start from the middle and pipe a nice steady stream all the way to the outer edge and let it spill over the side. Leg number one, leg number two, and then I'll try to go mirror image on the other side of my cookie. Then we can take our peanut butter cup and just smoosh them right down on the top. And then to add the googly eyes, I'm just going to pipe some chocolate right onto the front of the peanut butter cup. And then we will press in one eyeball and a second eyeball, <laughs> and that's all there is to it. Well, those turned out so adorable and have so much character and personality. So now I'm gonna put these into my freezer for about five to 10 minutes just to allow the chocolate to set. Well, I pulled these out of the freezer, so now they are ready to enjoy. Now the challenge is deciding how you're gonna eat it. Do you eat the peanut butter cup first, or do you try and bite through all of them together? I kind of cheated and made myself a little sample bite with some cookie, some chocolate, as well as a little bit of that peanut butter cup. That is so good. That is so simple, but so yummy. That is an awesome mouthful of chocolate. That has all the incredible flavor of a classic peanut butter and chocolate cookie. You get the crispy outside of the peanut butter cookie with the chewy inside, and then you bite into the chocolate in the peanut butter cup, and then you get that little extra bit of peanut butter that's inside the peanut butter cup. I think that tastes even better than a traditional cookie and peanut butter cup because it's not overpoweringly sweet. It's just sweet enough to be very satisfying but has even more flavor to it with those clean, nutrient-dense, and all-natural ingredients. Now, of course, this is a treat, so it will need to be eaten in moderation, but at least you know you're gonna feel good even after you eat it. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today in my kitchen to make these fun spiders. And I've included a link to all the recipes in the video description below, which are on my website, gentletummy.com. And I also invite you to like and subscribe to my channel. And I cannot wait to have you hang out with me again in my kitchen.